Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to answer the question of what is a CAFI circuit breaker. Also, I'll be showing you how to install a CAFI circuit breaker on a plug-on neutral load center. Here is a Homeline 20 amp CAFI circuit breaker. CAFI stands for Combination Arc Fault Interrupter. So, since the word combination is in the name, the circuit breaker provides both arc fault and ground fault protection, right? Actually, that's not correct, but it's a common misconception. A combination arc fault circuit interrupter breaker is called that because it provides protection for both parallel arcing and series arcing. A different kind of circuit breaker called a dual function circuit breaker is the one that provides protection against both arc faults and ground faults. So what causes a parallel arc fault and what causes a series arc fault? An example of what may cause a parallel arc fault is a nail protruding through drywall, <laughs> damaging the wire in the wall and exposing the hot and neutral wires. If the damaged wires are close enough together, an arc may occur between the exposed wires. That could cause a parallel arc between the conductors. An example of what may cause a series arc is if a wire is only loosely connected under the screw terminal of a wall switch and there is a real small gap between the wire and the terminal. If the gap is small enough, an arc may occur between the wire and the terminal. This may cause a series arc. To install a CAFI circuit breaker, first locate the load center neutral bar. In this case, the load center neutral bar is fully distributed on both sides of the load center. In the case of a home line plug on neutral load center, look for any space on the neutral bar, which is between the screws. This is where the jaw of the CAFI attaches. There are breaker rejection features on both the load center and on the circuit breaker, which will not allow you to install an incorrect circuit breaker. And there is a spring-loaded clamp that attaches the breaker to the main bus. These plug-on neutral breakers can actually be installed with a straight push-on motion, but I prefer to put the jaw of the circuit breaker on the neutral bar first, and then I attach the spring-loaded clamp to the bus. If I didn't have a load center with the plug-on neutral, then I would have to use the CAFI with a pigtail. So there's a big advantage of having a plug-on neutral load center. When attaching the white neutral wire and the black hot wire to your CAFI plug-on neutral breaker, the white neutral wire goes to the silver colored terminal and the black hot wire goes to the bronze colored terminal. Look on the breaker itself to find out how many pound inches these wires need to be torqued to. In this case, it's 36 pound inches. Set your torquing screwdriver to 36 pound inches and torque down these two terminals. You should be able to find a sticker someplace either on the inside of the load center or on the inside of the cover. And in this case, the torque specifications for your ground wire, which is what I'm looking for, is 10 to 14 copper. Ours is 12 gauge copper, is 20 pound inches. So I'll set my torque screwdriver to 20 pound inches and I will torque down the ground wire to the ground bus. CAFIs also provide overcurrent protection like you would find on a standard breaker, but they do not provide GFCI protection. I'll put a link in my video description for the Square D home line load center that you saw in the video and I'll put a link for my Weha torquing screwdriver. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.